Barack Obama wants you to give up your SUV. That's the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Campaigning in Oregon over the weekend, Senator Obama promised to lead the world on global warming. But actually, Obama's definition of leadership requires surrendering our sovereignty and selling out American liberties. Shockingly, he said this, we can't drive our SUVs and eat as much as we want and keep our homes on 72 degrees at all times and then just expect that other countries are going to say, okay, excuse me, in an Obama presidency, we need to check with the European Union before we hop in our Chevy Suburbans, eat that extra slice of pizza or crank up the air conditioner this summer. I hope that more Americans are beginning to see past hope and change, and yes we can, to this reality. For liberals like Obama, climate change represents their chance to effectively outlaw the American way of life. That's right. Something that they have wanted to do for decades. Remember Jimmy Carter's gas rationing? And in 1977, remember when he appeared on television in a sweater and then asked us all to turn down our thermostats? Let's face it, liberals don't much like it that more middle class Americans are living in bigger houses or that they drive big cars or that they eat stuff that isn't found at Whole Foods. And remember, they don't like all that clinging to guns and faith either. It's imperative that conservatives vigorously and consistently point out that climate change policies are merely a part of a larger effort to subjugate the American people and force them to live under rules and norms that are decided overseas. We need a president who's going to work for us, not one who demands that we constantly make concessions to foreign powers so that they like us more. In an Obama administration, who's going to be there to speak for the American people? Who is going to be there to defend our liberties in the face of countries and international organizations that are riddled with anti-Americanism and always will be? The answer is no one. And that's the memo.